The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Coming up on today's show, the Badgers conclude their string of games against the other Division I programs in Wisconsin. We'll look back at some of the highlights of Saturday night's game between the Badgers and the Milwaukee Panthers. We'll also look back at a special treat the basketball team had this fall as it had a chance to meet a rather significant public figure. Mike Lucas sits down with new head football coach Gary Anderson. Of course, we'll sit down here with head coach Bo Ryan. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Check around the dribble to the front court right side. Stops, feeds Ben Bruss down the lane, feeds Evans. Baseline right to the rim. Slam dunk Ryan Evans. The feed Arians, throws to Kelm on the left wing. Kyle Kelm, a pass knocked away. Zach Showalter the steal and the run out down the lane. Layup good. Showalter again wasting no time making a play as he gets on the floor. He gets a steal and a bucket. It's Marshall, loops it inside. Kaminsky catches out the deck with three in the air. Left to the circle. Book. Sam Decker for three. 20 to 10, Wisconsin. 11:30 left in the first half. Now George Marshall, left wing for Wisconsin, feeds Bruzewitz. Nice little hesitation dribble, spin move, blow on the right layup. Good, nicely done. Down the lane, right hand, slam dunk. Sam Decker, wide open three, left wing splash, jumper away, left side, got it. To the rim, slam dunk. Rotates for Marshall, three ball right pocket, got it. He's up for Berger, down the lane, two hand throw down for Berger. Losing for three, straight on, and straight in. Nice baseline to the rim on the reverse, it's good. That's still the ball. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Zimbrick Buick GMC, Coca Cola, Charter Communications, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Adidas and UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Are you ready? Yep. Click the links. Oh, sweet Lisa, you're so fine, like a very fine wine. Charter Internet has more bandwidth to support all your devices. Experience the power of Charter on the nation's fastest Internet. Ah, the workout is over. Time to recover, refuel, and re-energize. Recent studies suggest that one drink can help muscles recover faster than other leading sports drinks. Delicious, nutritious chocolate milk. With its powerful package of protein, potassium, calcium, and six other essential nutrients, shouldn't chocolate milk be your choice? Got chocolate milk? The buzzer beaters, the high school tournaments, the conference titles, truly the court of champions. Parker Street Productions LLC has acquired pieces of the basketball court used at the Kohl Center from 1998 until 2008, now making them available to you. 61 teams walked off this court with a trophy. Now you can take home your own trophy, a piece of history. Log on to courtofchampions.com today. We are pioneers, pathfinders, trailblazers, Every day we explore the biological frontier in search of a cure for cancer, inventing treatments, establishing protocols, bettering humankind. We are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. talked a lot about the in-state games and it's probably a good time to remind folks about why they're important and it's not just public relations as we have seen this I mean with as the Badgers have just now completed the swing again this year but you just look up earlier in the week Bo up in up in Green Bay what the Phoenix and the Marquette game these these games do have they have multiple meanings right well you know Green Bay comes here and plays is pretty tough had a chance to get us uh, 
you know, we're still we're still playing a little shorthanded, but that uh, you know, when Green Bay's trying to beat you, they don't care. <laughs> They're playing hard. So Marquette then goes up to Green Bay and uh, and Green Bay gets them. So it's uh, it, th- these kind of games are always spirited. Guys are always playing at their uh, at their top energy level. Sometimes the results uh, obviously vary, but right. but uh, there's never a shortage of uh, diving for loose balls, playing hard, and uh, you know you just gotta you just gotta put 40 minutes together and get out on the left hand side. You, you've gone up against Robbie's teams now. I think I, think I could say one of your, your favorites uh, during the year, somebody you really g- grew to like and respect as a player, as an assistant. It's kind of fun watching him continue to grow, too, as a head coach. Well, yeah, because uh, when you're at a mid-major school like that, sometimes you have uh, a little more experience coming back. Sometimes you have to fill in maybe with a junior college player or two. And so what Robbie's uh, doing this year is he's trying to put together the pieces of uh, you know, trying to see who's the most uh, consistent player at what position, and you know the non-conference games. That uh, that's where you have to do a lot of that, because uh, his conference is going to be tough enough, just as ours is. So that now is the time where we're trying to put together our best combos, and that's what Robbie's trying to find out. And I think too, I think we've all learned over time. Anybody who's paid any attention to the Panthers. Don't judge anything in December because it could look bumpy at times, but at the end of the year, you look at the records and say, oh, yeah, they were pretty good again. Yeah, they, they've always competed uh, uh, at a high level in the, in the Horizon League, and, and rightfully so because, you know, Robbie a, was a tough um, competitor as a player, as you mentioned, uh, was one of my favorites <laughs> uh, because of how hard he played, what a great leader he was on the court. So the fact that he's coaching and coaching successfully – comes uh, not as a surprise to us. You know, I, I said that about Robbie's teams. Probably should remind folks we should say that about the Badgers, too. Uh, the, the teams, it, it's, it's a knack that, that you guys have had as a staff, as players. That they continue to get better as the year goes. And that's, uh, you have a lot of young guys here who are getting experience. Some, you know, obviously Sam has had to play, has had to start a couple games with, with Mike Bruzowitz being out. But uh, there is uh, th- this team has had a knack through the years, and I know you don't like to compare, but th- th- if you're going to look back at something, that's kind of fun to look back on, I would think. Well, if there's ever a year w- that we need to get old in a hurry, <laughs> it would be this year, um, just based on everything that's happened. But that's okay because that's all part of life. So, um, yeah, we're hoping that all our young guys uh, play a year or two older, and we're hoping that our, our veterans um, can stay – true to their game, not put too much pressure on themselves, not try to overdo, uh, which can happen at times whenever there's some injuries or, or positions aren't uh, being manned by, the, uh, by who you would have expected to be in those positions. Players do not need to you know, go and try too hard. So mm-hmm. that's what we're hoping with our experience, guys. Play to your game, contribute, work hard. Um, try to get some of these younger guys the, the experience that it's going to take to compete in the Big Ten because we know how tough the league is. Yeah, absolutely. And the Badgers hit league play here soon enough. One more non-conference game, though, coming up this Saturday as the Badgers host Samford out of the SOCON, the Southern Conference. Benny Seltzer in his first year as the head coach down there. Coach Ryan rejoins us in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week. All that and more as the Badger Sports Report continues. Where others saw lumber, we recognized a treasure. Where others saw the night, we chose the stars. Where others saw pieces, we unlocked the puzzle that could mean the end of paralysis and cancer. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. Now I would like to formally introduce the next head football coach at the University of Wisconsin, Gary Anderson. I'm joined by Wisconsin's new head football coach, Gary Anderson. Congratulations and welcome to Madison. No, it was great to be here. Why was this the right time for the move and why is Wisconsin the right fit? Well, uh, for me, it's very simple. And from the outside looking in and, and coaching, talking to Coach Alvarez uh, became very apparent that uh, for me, it's all about the young man I'm around every single day, and um, these are quality kids. They're hardworking kids. They want to win. It's an established program. They take care of themselves socially and academically. That's important to them, and I'm um, a big believer that if you take care of those two things, then the football will take care of itself, and um, uh, I never wanted to uh, 
be involved in a school or never want to be involved in a school where you know, I can't, I can't put the kids first and, and put them in a position to be successful in life. And, and that's very important. And I truly believe that uh, this is the type of young man that I'm used to coaching for years and years and look forward to the opportunity. In concert with that, Gary, did preparing for Wisconsin this season give you a little bit more insight on what this program's all about? Absolutely, yeah. You can, I believe I can get a tremendous feel for what a team is all about if you really watch some offense, defense, and special teams play, especially during the summer when I get a chance to watch as many as I think I watched 12 games last year on Wisconsin uh, preparing uh, not just a great team, uh, great offense, great defense, talented young men, but just the way they play the game. Uh, they, they, they love the game of football, and I really believe that you can see that on tape. Um, the, the way they, they, they play together, and it's just it's a special place. So uh, it all came together, um, and I, you know, I was by no means sitting out there, just I've got to have a job, I've got to have a job. But uh, as soon as this one popped open to me, this was a special, special place from my knowledge of it. And as I went through the interview process, it just continued to grow. I had a great opportunity to sit down with three young men today, and it's done nothing but continue to grow. You have an extensive background on defense. Your defense this year ranked number eight in the country in scoring yeah. defense. What are the found, what's the foundation? What, what, what's the philosophy behind it? The foundation is good players. You know, coaching's overrated when you get to that spot. And uh, we were very fortunate this year to have uh, some very good players. And, and we're, the foundation of the defense, once we get to the players, and, um, is to uh, cause some confusion, um, indecision in coordinators' minds, and the same on the football field uh, with, the, with the offenses they try to play against us. We want to play some man coverage, and we want to mix that with zone coverage. We want to blend those together. Um, we want to pressure, and we want to pressure at all times. We don't want to just be a team that pressures on third down. We want to pressure on control downs. We want to pressure uh, maybe in abnormal situations, uh, and we want to cause some confusion. You were very balanced on offense. Mm -hmm. What type of attack will Badger fans see here next year? Well, the biggest thing for us, we want to be able to run the football. And that's always been our base since, uh, since we took over at Utah State four years ago. We wanted to be able to run the football. Uh, our first two years, uh, we weren't great at it. The last two years, I think we've been very efficient. Now, uh, a lot of that has to do with personnel. We switched uh, from year to year. At Wisconsin, you're very fortunate. I've seen, I've seen those kids uh, again on the field. I know what they look like. And they're big, physical, tough-minded kids. So we should be able to run the football effectively. And there's very talented running backs here year in and year out. So we want to be able to run the ball. We want to be able to take our shots down the field, whether that's through play action or getting the ball down the field to talented wide receivers and let them get in a position to make uh, plays on contested balls and then we also want to get ourselves in a spot that possibly depending on where we sit have some type of option in our offensive game I think uh, as a defensive coordinator it's very difficult to deal with the threat of option even if it's just a few times a game uh, it forces you to prepare and it forces you to stay basic on the on the defensive side I asked this question earlier of you what makes a good recruiter and even though you don't have any ties to the Midwest, is yeah. that a factor at all? Yeah. I don't think it's a factor for myself at all. I think it is a factor within the staff. We need to make sure that we have coaches that have, have, have spent time in the area recruiting. And um, a good recruiter can recruit kids anywhere. And uh, I think we've uh, done a great job of that the last few years of branching out uh, all over the place. At, at Utah State, we'll be able to do that when we come here. We'll, there's, there's niches. We don't have to go as far, if you will. Uh, we'll start in state, number one. And we have to do a tremendous job in the state of uh, reaching out to the coaches, reaching out to the young men, and letting them understand that uh, what's happened here in the past is going to continue as far as the in-state kids. I believe there's 53 kids from the state of Wisconsin on the roster right now. But what makes a good recruiter is someone that can uh, communicate, someone that is caring, someone that will uh, walk into a room and, and understand who is helping a young man make a decision, whether that's a grandma, a grandpa, a mom, or a dad, a coach, whoever it may be. And uh, they're truly going to reach out and, and, and at, at some point, it's got to be a position where the kid looks at you and says, I'm coming because of you, coach. And uh, there's a lot of places with nice facilities, nice stadiums, all that stuff, nice meals, nice recruiting trips. But at the end of the day, it's the people that are inside the buildings that make the difference in changing a young man to a man. When fans walk out of here next fall after watching one of your teams play, what are they going to be talking about? What are they going to carry with them about the characteristics of your style of play? Well, I think we want to be explosive on offense. You know, we have the ability to have big play offense, and we want to be aggressive on special teams, and we want to change the game in our favor on special teams week in and week out, and that's one of our uh, one of our, our cores of, on our plan to win is, is not just win special teams, but play great special teams. And then play great defense. That is our number one goal on the plan to win week in and week out is to play great defense. And, you know, that can be uh, tagged many different ways. But uh, we, 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 if we say we play great defense, we've got up to a pretty high level. Um, you know, this defense this year that Wisconsin had, 
they played great defense in a lot of different areas, and I was fortunate to be able to watch them. So, um, uh, but but I want to. I also want to see a team that uh, people would walk out of the, the fans would walk out of a game and say, "Those kids have fun playing a game of football." It's important to me to have fun playing this game. Final thought: How excited are you to get into the Big Ten? No, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can really uh, have a word for how excited I am to, to be at Wisconsin and uh, have this opportunity. Uh, I know I'm humbled. I know I'm blessed. I know it's a tremendous conference. I'm looking to the opportunity, looking forward to the opportunity to compete. I talked to Urban last night, and he says, yep, now you get to come and play us. And I said, yeah, we do. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, It's a tremendous league. I've got a lot to learn, and I'm just excited to jump in and, and, and be ready to roll and um, get to know these kids first. That's the key to me is, is wrap my arms around every one of these kids and, and let them know that I'm going to be there for them. And then as we move through time, they'll learn to, to gain our trust as a staff and gain my trust. But uh, um, it's, a, it's a tremendous opportunity for myself and my family, and again, we're very blessed and excited to be here. Welcome again, and uh, good luck this season. Look forward Thank to working you. with you. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. These are the heavyweights, the visionaries, the A-listers. These are the people inventing the technologies and establishing the protocols for treatments that don't yet exist. This is who you turn to when no one else seems to have the answer. These are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health. Remarkable. Your truck. It's your office. Your toolbox. Your lunchroom. It's how you get your work done. your business moving with Wisconsin's number one volume GMC dealer, Zimber GMC East and West. What light does gets in your head. You can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does Weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi 05 Star. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, Dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. The use and importance of social media has certainly exploded, but how about using it to meet the president during his campaign stop in Madison? Not a bad idea to junior forward Zach Bohannon, first time I thought of it was two days before I was on the phone with my dad. I was like, Dad, I'm on the internet reading an article and it looks like President Obama is going to be in town for a campaign speech on Wednesday. And at the time it was Monday evening. And he's like, oh, who cares? <laughs> I was like, well, there's going to be a lot of people there. And he's like, yeah, well, what, what are you going to do? You're not going to be able to get around to see him. I'm like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. A few minutes later, I kind of was like, you know what? Why not I try to use my our basketball team's fame and uh, get a visit with the president? Just kept tweeting nonstop at him and people in the White House staff, people that he knew from Craig Robinson, the Oregon State uh, head basketball coach, to Andy Katz, who's known him from bracketology sessions. So I kind of just tweeted at whoever I knew throughout the day, and all of my teammates thought it was kind of a joke, and I was just kind of being funny, and it was good publicity for our team. The wild ride through the Twitterverse is one thing, but the goal of meeting the president, that required a personal touch. One day after Lyft, um, you know, the whole team was talking about it. You know, and I thought to myself, I, I knew Obama's you know, best friend, uh, one of the guys who's, who was on his campaign. Um, so you know, I gave him a call within like the next hour, and he was able to set it up. Well, I got all the publicity for it, but George Marshall was the one who got the deal finally done. Would you get an assist there? You kind of set him up and he, he took the shot? 
Ah, uh, yeah. Or he can say he got the assist, whatever he wants to prefer since he's a point guard. Marshall with his first points. The fact that it went from a seed in your brain to thousands and thousands of people knowing about it in 24 hours is pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. It's really amazing. And that's actually one of the master's program I did and one of the undergraduate programs that a bunch of our teammates are in with uh, from Ben Bruss to Frank Kaminsky, a bunch of people are in the communications, life science communications um, uh, program. And that's kind of what they talk about is how the reach of social media and the impact it can have on people's individual lives and to take advantage of it. And they really want to hear our stories and they they want to hear the stories about our team meeting President Obama. They want to hear uh, Ben's stories of all his NASCAR encounters that he has and where he's taken his Twitter campaigns with uh, himself and where he's gone with those as well. So it's kind of neat how it's gone from real world experience to getting the academic experience, which 10 years ago, 15 years ago, or even back five, six years ago when my brother was here, that was non-existent. Thanks in some small part maybe to that furious Twitter campaign by Bohannon, the team got to spend a few minutes with the president before his speech at Bascom Hill, and even got a shout out during it. Some members of the Badgers basketball team are here. They're getting ready for the season coming up. You know, we went up and all got to shake his hand, and then right away Zebo asked him um, if he had time to come over and, and play with us, play some pickup games with us. They've invited me to play. So I said after the election, I will be raining down jumpers on him. So it was kind of one of those uh, lingering promises. We'll see if he keeps or not. And Bohannon even took to Twitter to give the president some options when it comes to practice jerseys as well. I don't think anything with Zebo really surprised me now. You know, he's kind of crazy, and you know, he was he was working hard trying to get things done. He's passionate about things, and you know, when he sets his mind to it, you know, he finds a way to get things done. For the Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan, I'm Jay Williams. Your truck. It's your office. Your toolbox. Your lunchroom. It's how you get your work done. Keep your business moving with Wisconsin's number one volume GMC dealer, Zimbert GMC East and West. Football, Wi-Fi, wings, now that's a business plan. Glad you like it. Question is, how are you liking charter business? Well, our internet's a lot more powerful than with phone company DSL. It can actually run all this now. Plus, we've got reliable phone and we're saving like crazy. Another everyday victory. Let me see your end zone dance. No, I, I don't dance. All right, let's just do a flying chest bump and call it a day. To save over 25% versus the phone company and get up to a $500 gift card, call now. What light does, gets in your head. You can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does, weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Zimbrick Buick GMC, Coca-Cola, Charter Communications, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, Adidas, and UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. This week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week comes from John down in Janesville, aware of what's going on, conference realignment and all of that. And uh, he's wondering, Coach, with the Big Ten expanding here in the not-too-distant future, a chance for some more conference games down the road. Well, yours truly, who has been fighting for more conference games uh, ever since I took the job here at Wisconsin, 
Um, I think for our fans, I, I think for everybody in general, even if it means playing in December, um, if you have the the entire east, if not entire east coast, but now you have the east coast involved with the Midwest, and uh, you know these are all teams that people need to get to know. If you want to create rivalries, if you want to or create more rivalries, then instead of 18 games, at least 20, if not 22. Um, in, in the conference, and I'm hoping that that happens because uh, the way the non-conference scheduling is going, um, you see what kind of non-conference schedule we have. Uh, not everybody goes uh, and, and plays the, you know, the same level of competition during the non-conference season, but if you have teams that people are going to be getting to know in volleyball, in, in football, in basketball, uh, than the Rutgers and the Merlins, then I think we need to play them um, a little bit more, uh, especially early, so that yeah. people in the Big Ten, the traditionalists, say, oh, yeah, well, we brought in Penn State, we brought in Nebraska, now we have two more. Let's let more people in the Midwest know about these East Coast schools. And plus now, obviously, it was done for the money. Mm -hmm. So you have the East Coast markets. Um, continue to get into those markets and uh, then that way everybody can benefit from the uh, fact that we now are going to have more televisions tuned in to Big Ten games. Yeah, it makes sense. If you're going to be in the league, play league games. Yeah. yeah, it seems to make perfect sense. We thank, uh, thank John for our great day and great question of the week. Great day with four locations in Madison on the east side of town, downtown Fitchburg as well as Hilldale and of course there's a great day up in Wausau as well. Again, one more non-conference game this Saturday afternoon. The Badgers taking on Samford and after that Big Ten season begins. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Bo Ryan, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pre-game talk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters have always played a key role in the success of our basketball program. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support for our student athletes than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the crowning achievement in college athletics. Awarded annually to the nation's best overall program in each division, both women's and men's sports. Celebrating its 20th anniversary, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup proudly honors exceptional student athletes and their schools. To follow your favorite team, visit thedirectorscup.com. Look for standings regularly in USA Today or follow the Learfield Sports Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Where others saw limits, we found a key to feeding a hungry planet. Where others thought big, we proved the power of small. Where others saw a frozen desert, we discovered a lens into the heart of the universe. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.